So welcome back guys. Today we are going to be buttoning up the CRX because I have no choice. We pick up the trailer tonight and uh, I'm going to load it up, get it here ready on the trailer when the car is done. I still have a lot of stuff to do on the car, um, but today should be the final day of drivability and all of that. So right now I'm headed to Vato Zone to drop off some Duralast batteries that are brand new but haven't been used so I gotta go get those charged up so I can have a battery for the car um, so when I get back I am going to um, I don't know if you guys noticed but it's daylight I woke up extra early I slept at 5 30 I woke up at 10 to try to get as much daylight as possible to knock out as much as possible so when I get back I am going to put the battery box in place with a tray so we can have a secure battery location in the trunk we're going to work on the center console I'm gonna cut this carbon fiber hood in the middle section to get the layout of this portion right here because all that's gonna be blocked off and sand that down give it a good clear coat because that is carbon fiber just painted black um, I'm gonna put the wheels back in the car I am going to see if I can get her to turn on with one of my Optima yellow top somewhere and go for a drive to make sure the brakes are all good. Um, other than that, I still got to piece together one good seat out of the two SI seats that came in here. Um, but I also did have a driver size seat that I swapped out with the one in this CRX, which my friend has at his house, which is also clean. So. If I don't have enough time to put a seat together, I'm gonna see if he can try to bring that seat over so I can use it for track, give it back to him, put that together and have my own seat until I can afford or find a deal on a bucket seat. A lot of stuff to do today, half a day left, and um, about the zone we go. And it's already a top selling diet pill at GNC because it works. Don't settle for less. Get your complimentary bottle by texting FLASH to 202020. If you burn too much fat, please decrease use of Lean Fire XT. That's F L A S H to 202020. Not attorney spokesperson P4. Fuck that bitch. This is an important message for So I'm back home. Got some of that, got some purple power. I'm just gonna shoot the whole engine bay down, rinse it, or whatever, get it to some what look more decent than this brown dirt that's on there. But right now, because I need a seat, I dropped the battery off, both of my batteries, um, to get fully charged. Uh, hopefully one is good to, you know, stay working on the car. But right now, I'm taking off the passenger seat to take off the inner bolster for the driver's side, since the driver's side has the outer all jacked up, and I'm gonna do some real, real quick sewing job on it. Who knows? But I'm gonna tear this apart right now so I can get a seat somewhat inside the car because my friend has a reply back, and I don't want to use this prelude seat because the rails, and this one is actually a hugging seat. I wish I could use it, but it looks ugly as fuck. So, anyways, um, fat burner, not that bitch. This is the section that I need right here, this corner. You see how clean it is? And I'm gonna take it off the seam right here. And I'm also gonna take it off right here all the way to the top. So I'm just taking the uh, inner bolster so I can transfer it over to the other seat. Once I tear that one up as well, I might try to repair that foam as well too, but we'll see. Even though I'm gonna be uh, tearing the engine out and painting the engine bay later down the road, I uh, shot some purple power. Letting it all soak up right now is looking a ton better already, just wet. So hopefully um, when I wash it down, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the car to turn on, and then I'm gonna move it right there, shoot it with the water hose. But first, I'm gonna start working on the interior a little bit. So all of this ideally is gonna be all blocked off. And now I'm gonna take measurements pretty much from the very end of these uh, edges to the very top of possibly right here. Then I can, you know, pretty much uh, put switches on here or gauges or nice and flat. Um, so I'm gonna measure it out on this carbon fiber hood, which was originally bolted to that hood. And you can see that big ass hole on it. Um, such a shame. This is a VIS racing hood um, right there. If you guys remember a few videos ago, I had one like this and I sold it to a, a NorCal CRX owner member. And you can see the ZC hump where they cut it. 
I'm gonna try to salvage this hood because one, it's fiberglass, carbon fiber. Two, it's already cut out and it's, you know, it's it's the only hood that I have. So um, this is like super caked on there. I don't know what that is, but I'm, I'm gonna have to try to chisel it out and just go deep with the sander, get it all nice and smooth, fill in some of these right here, cause this is all grinded out. Um, fill it in as much as I can and I'm gonna match it to the color of the car I'm not gonna try to clear it to try to save it. There's there's just too many cracks in there But anyways, so I'm gonna get my measurement on here and I'm gonna try to do like maybe use this section right here Hopefully and I'm gonna try to save this vent So I'm doing a very light coat so that way it doesn't react and once this first light coat dries up then we go heavier on second third however many layers you want to put down to get that shine so you see right here I bombed this one and you can see the reaction that it has but then again that was too short so I made a new one and uh, it's looking good it's already pre-fitted I drilled out the holes already where I need this to uh, bolt up in the center console. So, um, yeah. So once this is dried up, I can put it back in and move on. Just got back from Vata Zone. Both my batteries didn't hold charge, so bought another Duralast Gold. Now that's brand new, and I am going to take that, put it in here, take the 2015 battery, put it in here. So that way my car has a new battery. So what I'm gonna do now is turn, try to turn the car on because I pull all the alarm and stuff out of here. I wasn't able to turn over after doing all that. So I wanna get the car to turn on and if it turns on and idles and all that greatness, I'm gonna put the wheels back on the car, go for a test drive, make sure that's all good and dandy. And then just cosmetic stuff, wait for the carbon fiber to dry up i put two more layers on it clean up the console area uh make one good seat i might even use that prelude seat just because it hugs but we'll figure it out when i finish everything else oh there's no gas in here either and seat belt buzzer oh it was in gear too ultra quiet so I cleaned the engine bay earlier sounds good so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put my wheels on I'm gonna drop it oh wait I still don't have a seat in the car I'm probably gonna throw the prelude in there for now get two bolts on it so I can drive it around and then like I said I'm gonna uh, button up everything else as long as the car drives well drives great whatever and once the car is done tonight the last thing I'm gonna do is change the oil which I still gotta go by I'm gonna stick the GoPro right there I have brakes if I pump it it stops really hard on the first pump it doesn't hold Serious stock exhaust and that shit moves. Wow, I did not expect that.
so I just went for my first drive the car is really solid the suspension is really solid um, it's a little bit lower on this side than it is on the driver's side but there's nothing else I can do because everything is already preloaded and I cannot adjust it uh, I did a quick one-two pull I don't know if you guys can see that track the, the fainted track on the floor not these two are here um, the clutch is done um, so after that one-two pull the uh, car is like really rough to get into gear but you can go into gear when the car is off so um, that's one indication of a bad clutch obviously you can smell the roasting of the clutch um, and this was a rolling burnout this wasn't a dig so I'm pretty bummed out because I don't have money to fork out with a, I don't have money to fork out for a new clutch nor can I get a new clutch in time because track is less than 12 hours and um, busted ass all week to get this car running and driving and now I can't even I can't even do a pull on it without roasting the clutch so when I was working on this car I did notice that the axles were kind of like cracking on the boot well that just ripped too you can see all that uh, grease and shit coming out of it this complicated looking custom rear mount whoever made this car solid but I'm one of those people you know like if I'm gonna do the clutch or something as complicated as pulling it apart I want to do it right and just have the complete kit um, and do it once th throw out bearing pilot you know bearing and all the stuff together rather than just throw in a news B series clutch you know and it goes out on you later I can technically pull out my B-Series clutch. I'm just taking a quick look at everything. Um, doesn't seem too complicated because this is in a CRX and there's really not that much room to maneuver or tilt this engine to get this transmission out as easy as you would want it to come out. Because you can see the gap there. There's barely any gap right there. And then the whole subframe is cut out right there. It's it's gonna it seems complicated. Um, I'm talking to my friend that's uh, gonna be racing with me tomorrow, and uh, he's still going. I'm still there, whether I'm bringing my car or not, to support. And uh, obviously, I'm gonna let him rock my slicks if I don't bring it because the other connect is really not replying back to uh, let us know whether we can use their slicks or not um the other friends but i don't know I, I i didn't feel like i rushed it because i knew the car was running already but i never got to drive it to really figure out the kinks of the car until today it's the first time i drove it um now i know the brakes um they didn't work before at all now if i just pump it once and then a quick one right after it, it holds pressure and it grabs really hard also, I noticed that the brake pads in the rear are just completely gone. Um, the front is like more than halfway out. So the brakes need a quick refresh. Um, others may tell me, you know, I posted on Facebook things that I'm, you know, I rush, but I didn't really rush it. It's just, I thought everything was all good and hopefully I was able to fix all the kink by yesterday's video, but, um, Maybe I'm not meant to race this first event of the year, but I'll still definitely be out there to guide my friends first time on the track, which would be cool, and only have one GoPro, so we'll get some four-door action rather than the CRX. That means uh, it gives me more time to um, until next track, which is like a month and a half or two months from now, to get this car really ready, because I drove it, my steering wheel was super crooked, and um, it definitely leads definitely needs an alignment I'm gonna have to pick up this phone call real quick so um, given the fact that the axle is now busted um, the brakes are not all there the alignment is not 100 it drives pretty straight uh, you know getting on it and all but this bums me out but uh, obviously like I said you got to keep your head up and if this track is not meant to be then I can get this car better um, drivability by the next track and that means more testing before I go and abuse it down the track on slicks 
I don't know. I'm going to see what the rest of the night has for me. But as of right now, got to brainstorm if I really want to pull this transmission out. And it's a very, very tight spot. Because, like I said, if I don't race it and I can get this bay and everything, the engine all prepped up for next track, that means pull the engine out, paint the engine bay. And while the engine is out, I can do clutch flywheel if I can afford it and replace the axles, all the other stuff, and get it 100% before next track. So we make it work. We make it happen. And we're going to keep trying until we run out of time to further determine a final plan. My fire. So I got the hood put on. Um, put the hole... <laughs> In the hood uh, for the top hats because that's how much it kicks out um, and it's latched but I am still gonna rock hood pins I was trying to chisel this out so this is fiberglass bondo or some shit and I tried chiseling it out and I fucked up because the gel coat came off with it and now the carbon fiber weave is fully exposed so what I'm going to do with this is I'm probably just going to do like a deep 40 grit sandpaper and sand it as flat as I can because didn't use this as an adhesive to put that portion on here to cover that. But YOLO, I'm going to take 40 grit, sand it off another day, um, epoxy these holes. Um, same thing with this guy right here, sand it all flat, do a light glaze over it and uh, get this hood because it's going to be paint matched get this hood as straight as possible um to my abilities and then paint match it to the car i decided to not do the clutch i i sat in that chair in front of the heater for an hour or so just scratching my head on the deal um plenty of other races plenty of tnts um this whole year so I'm not going to try to rush it anymore even though, you know, I was trying to push this last two weeks to uh, get this car ready for tomorrow, but shit happens, uh, speed bump in the road that you just kind of go JDM sideways over and um, go to the next one. And so I'm just going to pretty much spend the rest of my night not too long out here in the garage just doing some small stuff to the car. I'm still going to be out to the track. I'm going to bring my slicks, my tools, my jack, my everything into the van to support my buddy that we just tuned. So um, I'd rather be there guiding him since this is the first time down the track. And, uh, you know, hopefully we'll, st we'll still have a good time for sure. So check this out. So I put the carbon fiber block off plate in the center console. And I think it looks pretty dope right there. Um, so that's gonna be for like if I ever want to run gauges. This is the push start. I'll do that This car needs a external fan because I tried jumping the fan switch and it didn't trigger the fan on so I'm gonna run the fan on another relay system where um, You know, so pretty much a switch panel um, System right here to make life easier for this car probably gonna have the battery kill here, too because um, what I also noticed so Instead of running a distribution block, um, the power cable goes from the battery, that white one right there, goes all the way to the starter, and then everything else is jumped off the starter. Um, these all power wires going into the car. I'm gonna run the distribution block inside the car on a, you know, a battery kill. So that way I don't kill the battery, especially because I have a new battery in the car. Turn it off and on right here. There's no radio, possibly no clock and i'm not worried about any of those wire all of those guys into place and then like i said now that we're not going to the truck oh shit, it's carbon fiber okay okay anyways um i can pull the dash off to clear everything out behind the dashboard all of that good stuff still gotta put my seat together i gotta gut the sunroof and take off the whole mechanism glue it shut because rain got through it and the clog hose right here um, caused a puddle inside of the car um, so I guess I'm not going to stress about track right now um, and just try to make the best of the situation right so this was the original piece that came with the car 
I'm gonna patch that up. I'm gonna get rid of this barb and this vacuum. I'm gonna patch that up. This is coated. I found this in the backyard. 9401 Tego GSR um, intake, I guess. Something like that. But I am going to be cutting it right here and right there. That's gonna go and connect right there. That's gonna come straight out the headlight. I'm gonna make this one piece instead of two piece because I only have one cup, uh, a new one, a black one, that's two and a half to three inch transition until I get my throttle body um, back from my friend, which is a 68, three inch. So then it'll be a straight three. But right now I only have one, two and a half to three black. That's gonna go there, out there. I got the purple V stack that was on the K out the bumper that was purple. So I got to dig that out of the box and then I'll have a V-Stack coming out. Um, eventually, I'm going to make a breather box, a uh, catch can, whatever you want to call it. Block that one out. Bung one or two, maybe. It's all motor. Probably going to do two because I might turbo it. Who knows? Yeah, I'm going to cut it right now. I got about an hour before. Really can't make noise even though I still cut in the middle of the night. <laughs> um... Yeah, and then I'm going to clean this up because, like I said, it's coated. And then I'm going to roll that up. Probably going to flip the car around for two reasons. In case it rains, uh, it leaks in the trunk area, whatever, whatever. And I'll... No, that's a no-brainer because now i got a hole in the hood. Got that all welded up. Um, I don't have any material right now to plug up these two guys right here. And the garage is closed, so I can't show you how that looks on the car. But I will be sure to get a video of how this fits on the car. Um, I'm still thinking about getting some plastic headlights. Maybe somebody has one ZC or a plastic like Angel Eye or something that I can make a hole into to stick this out. So it looks more complete up in the front rather than a big ass hole. Because I do want to keep the corner light when I am, you know, at the track and not look empty or incomplete. So that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this one for sure, because I sure did, as always. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuce. Oh wait, deuce, deuce.